What's up guys, let's take a look at a new iPhone app called Clear, which manages your to-do list and your task in an amazing user interface. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up Clear on the iPhone. If you would like to download this, the link is in the description down there below the video. It is a dollar in the App Store, uh, but I think it's worth it just because of the awesome user interface. Again, it is just a to-do list app. There's tons of them out there, uh, but the user interface and just how this app works is what sets it apart because this app is kind of fun to use. Alright, so first off, you've got three levels uh, in the app. You've got the main level, uh, which is your actual list or your tasks. Uh, then if you pinch, you can actually see uh, the second layer or the middle layer uh, which is your list uh, I've got videos to do and category list over here to the the right of them it says how many uh, uh, tasks are in each list as you see my to do it has nothing in it uh, so let's go ahead and scroll up or you can pinch up uh, and then you see the lower level or the first level which has your list uh, themes tips and tricks follow the team and settings we'll go to settings first uh, this is where you can turn on the app badges you can turn on or off the sound effects uh, and vibration uh, which those do uh, sound okay but I feel like they use up too much battery when you're using the app so I will turn those off after this video but just for the sake of the video I'll keep them on alright uh, and then themes that's pretty cool uh, you can actually change up the themes uh, the one I'm using right now and the one you start out with is heat map uh, if you have tweetbot you actually get a tweetbot theme I'm just gonna leave it on heat map uh, I like that one uh, so let's go ahead and go to a uh, list and they also have tips and tricks if you didn't see that there. All right, so list, this is basically where all your lists are going to be. This is probably what you want your main tab to be. Uh, if you want to make a new list, you can actually just tap in an open space. Uh, I'm just going to tap back so that will go away. Uh, now, if you want to uh, also make a new list, you can just scroll up a little bit and release, and it will make a new one right there. And that will actually add it to the top. Now, the way this works is you put your uh, top priority stuff at the top. I don't think it works that way with the list. Uh, let's actually go into a list. I will go into the video's list to go into it you just tap over here to the right on the number now as you see these are darker these are lighter if I want to drag this up to the top there we go and that becomes darker because uh, the most or top priority stuff is going to be at the top where the lower priority stuff is going to be at the bottom uh, so I'm going to pinch out I'm going to go back to my list I'll go to the grocery list because that has a little bit more uh, and yeah, you can see that you can just scroll through these. It looks really nice. Uh, if I want to add anything to it, I do just as I did before. I uh, just scroll down a little bit, release, and I can fill in something here. So this is the grocery list. So I'm just going to say uh, I need to get some tea when I go to the store. Uh, well, I said ye, whatever. All right, so I messed up. I want to slide to the left, and I can delete that. Now, once I've accomplished something or I've got it off my list, I can actually just swipe to the right, and there we go. And it goes to the bottom, uh, and it says right there, it's chicken. It's, uh, it's dimmed out a little bit. So as you already see, it's a, just a really nice uh, interface. It's easy to use, and it looks great. So I'll add a new list here. I'll just type in test just for the sake of this video, and then I'll tap onto it uh, right here on the right, and then I can add stuff to it. It actually adds little quotes there, which I thought was pretty cool if you don't have any uh, tasks in your uh, one of your list so I'll just say test again and then I'll add another one test or I'll just type random stuff it doesn't matter you get the gist of it now let's go ahead and show you the sounds I turn my volume up so you can hear it better So it sounds pretty cool, uh, but nothing amazing. That actually gets annoying after you use that for a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the app. It's just a basic to-do list app uh, to manage your tasks, your to-dos, that kind of stuff. And it's easy to delete stuff, add stuff, uh, and it's just a really nice user interface. A lot of people have been talking about this, so I wanted to throw up a quick little video on it. It actually just came out uh, last night. So check it out if you want to. Again, the link is in the description, and uh, I definitely recommend it for a dollar. Not too bad. Uh, and it's definitely by far uh, my favorite to-do list app. Not to say that there was really hard competition out there though. So let me know what you guys think about Clear in the comments down below. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. Uh, do you not need another to-do list app? Do you not want to pay a dollar for it? Or do you have a better alternative? Personally, I use Evernote and I don't think this is going to be able to replace it. Uh, for quick to-do list, yes, but I like Evernote. It's amazing. If you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in some way, please be sure to click the like button down there below the video. I really appreciate it and it helps me out a lot. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos just like this on all sorts of tech. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.